Good evening. I'm Keith Cates. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. A Bay Area pool company accused of leaving customers high and dry, now getting the attention of Florida's Attorney General. Our Better Call Bank and investigation resulted in more than five dozen complaints against Olympus pools all over the Tampa Bay area. And now Hernando County is taking action, prohibiting the contractor from pulling any new permits. Consumer investigator Shannon Benkin joining us now with her latest developments. Olympus Pools has hundreds of open permits across the Bay Area. And now, in light of complaints and red tag permits, Hernando County says no new jobs until the old ones are taken care of. Now I try not to open the curtains because it's a reminder of, of the disaster like in my backyard. Olympus Pools dug this hole in Charlotte Spencer's backyard in early March. And she says they haven't returned. The work they did do has failed three inspections. She thought she was an isolated case until she saw my Better Call Banking report showing customers all over the Bay Area with pools that look just like hers. I don't understand how a person can sleep at night like that. That would be that would be hurtful to me knowing that I have all this unfinished other things out here, but I'm getting new customers and taking more people's money. Since my first report, more than five dozen customers called me about their own backyard nightmares. And now, Hernando County has put the company's ability to pull new permits on hold. I called up with Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody to ask whether she's going to step in. The number of complaints, the number of people with holes in their yards, do you take that seriously? We, when we receive complaints, uh, we always take complaints seriously. Our lawyers review them, and, and like I said, this matter is under active review. Olympus Pools president James Statton had ignored my calls, but finally called back to promise he'll finish every single pool. Statton blames the issues on material shortages and former salespeople who he says sold too many pools. Customers claim he's been unresponsive to their complaints, but public records show he's been busy. His Staten Holdings LLC took out a $1.25 million mortgage on March 11, 2021 from Commercial Business Funding Corporation. The collateral, Olympus's Lutz headquarters and all assets. The funding group involved, as shown here on its website, works, quote, with companies unable to access financing from traditional sources. When I asked Staten about this mortgage, he said he didn't fully understand it but insisted he didn't receive any of the money. I checked with other Bay Area counties, and I'm waiting to hear back on whether or not they will follow Hernando County's lead on halting permits. What about some of these customers you've spoken with? Have they heard from the company? I'm in touch with a lot of these customers, and they tell me actually many of the ones that I've interviewed say that the company sent out workers and promised to finish pools so that they are feeling like it, something may happen here. Others, though, tell me that they still haven't heard anything. And what remains unclear is whether or not this company can finish all of these pools. Again, the owner insists that he can. All right, he's going to start to feel some pressure from the state at this point because it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's clearly an issue. And uh, you're exposing it. Thank you. If you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bankin. You can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon or give her a call. The number is 1-855-BANKIN.